Hi, once again, this is Brother Teacher. Do you know the difference between a farm raised fish and a wild caught fish? Farm raised tuna and salmon versus wild caught tuna and salmon. Even though what I just asked you seem to have a uh, common, uh, honest, uh, common, common sense answer, if you will, a lot of people really don't know the difference. So let me clarify outside of the statement. One is farm raised and another is wild caught. It's obvious if you catch something in the wild, more specifically in this instance, uh, tuna and salmon, then it's in the ocean. It's in its natural habitat, its natural environment. Tuna and salmon. Now, farm raised means that they are actually essentially in captivity. They're in a large environment that's not their natural home. The tuna and the salmon, that is. Do you know how large a tuna and a salmon can grow to be? Records have indicated that they've gone up to about 2,000 pounds. Yes, 500 to 2,000 pounds in weight up to 13 feet even tuna and salmon that is so what's the major difference in the two outside of where they are environmentally one wild caught in its natural ocean environment and the other in captivity by man now the one that's in captivity is also fed by someone they're not free as they are in the ocean to capture smaller fish or prey for the sustainability. Now, in the farm raised environment, these tuna and these, or mackerel, if you will, and these salmon have to de depend or rely on man to feed them. They feed them essentially protein and fats in the forms of a cereal like base sort of like dog food comes in the dry form kibbles and bits if you will and there is a presence also in that food compilation of corn product and also soy product understand this comprehend this corn and soy so corn and soy products are two of the most highly genetically modified products on the market as it relates to food and actually corn especially modern day corn is really not food it's not good for human consumption so why are fish that are brought to market for us to consume why does it contain those elements amongst many others in their food supply I hope I was plain enough in what I just said Listen to me again. Tuna and salmon are two of the largest edible fish products that we purchase from the market that come from the ocean naturally. And when they are caught by fishermen, this is known as wild caught salmon and wild caught tuna. But on the other hand, when these tuna and these salmon are farm raised, they're dependent upon man to feed them and part of the products that they're fed 
contain soy and corn based ingredients and the soy and corn based ingredients are not good for our consumption so why are we consuming tuna and salmon that's been fed these genetically modified products so all you need to do after listening to what I just said is make a decision do you want to eat tuna and salmon that's farm raised that contains these products that I just mentioned to you or would you rather take your chance with the possible mercury content from the chemicals that's being spilled in the ocean would you rather take your chances with wild caught tuna and salmon I will say this to you as well before I go if you continue to want to purchase and prepare and consume tuna and salmon with the mercury issue at hand do so at your own risk and understand this comprehend this since tuna and salmon are such larger fish species the mercury content will more than likely be greater because of the size and or volume of those fish but another choice that you could have an alternative would be in your smaller species of fish such as your sardines your anchovies and any other smaller species which because of the smaller size have a lesser density of mercury contained in their flesh just consider it something to think about so I hope that I explained this thorough enough to you speaking to the general public what's the best fish to eat farm raised or wild caught I think that I would take my chances or rather take my chances with the wild caught because they are in their natural environment notwithstanding the mercury uh, potentiality if you will I will just more than likely eat less that was really it and that was all but by the way I do occasionally enjoy sardines take care so long